So, hello people. My name is Miss Sepsis and uh, there has been a lot of interference for some reason against this particular talk. And the last talk we did was a lot more lighthearted, even though that title was much more darker called End of All Human Free Will. So my name is Miss Sepsis and this is going to be a continuum now to the basis 2023. And I would recommend for you to go check out the other lectures because there is a lot of information that I'm only going to briefly mention here in order to save time. So I, I want to send, uh, honestly, uh, love and protection to everyone listening. I want all of uh, you to do well, the real human souls, the real human souls, the 25, 30%. I want all of your wishes to come true and you to receive miracles against all odds during very sad and critical points in your life. May you be blessed. May you be protected during these critical times and may all of your wishes come true. May you be blessed from, from the bottom of my heart. But for the rest of you, such as the soulless humans and the sleepers, it really is time for you to vanish from this planet Earth. And this is why we're getting a lot of uh, interference and actually psychic attacks uh, against this part too. So uh, a lot of adrenaline in the air. And uh, the point of this lecture now, if we go to the slides, please. This information is going to be from the book Walking Case that I published uh, during lockdown, available on Amazon. That's why I'm not going to touch in detail about all the topics, so you can, you can look this information up there. And uh, the talk focus of this lecture today, this is why it's take two. Take one was all over the place. It didn't make any sense. So I'm very happy that I have this opportunity to get, get it right this time. Because if you want to produce a quality product, you have to do a few takes. And especially in my case, because I'm better at uh, doing, well, filmmaking, uh, writing maybe. But these talks, I need time and I need another take. So let's go back to the slide. The point of this lecture now is going to be about the tipping point times all the way up to 2025. And the topic of this lecture specifically is what happened during this March 2023. This March 2023, something strange happened. The energies and the tone is different. And I can understand completely why these interferences are happening against this talk because these energies are not playing around. And this, I knew that I was going to come during the 2023, 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 7. And let's look at the dates, 4th of April, 8th of April, 13th of April is number 5. 17th of uh, March, I, you know, I've recalculated these confirmed number nine, 22nd of March, 2023 was five where I started to get engaged. I wasted the first half of March completely. I wasted completely with my own mumbo jumbo. Uh, and I consider my life a, a job and I was very disappointed with myself when I wasted the first two weeks of March where I should have been working towards uh, the mission. And the next date, uh, well, this uh, 22nd of March, the results was that China, Russia and China uh, proposed a peace plan. So the ceremonies and rituals uh, 
uh, counterfeit uh, against evil were happening on 22nd and 23rd, then this peace plan was proposed that the MSM is suppressing. They don't talk about it at all. And this peace plan that Russia and China proposed was called There is No Winners in a Nuclear War. So, uh, I'm not taking, you know, I'm not saying that I, I, you know, me getting engaged that maybe, you know, I'm saying that we don't need the majority anymore. We need just specific soul signatures to get involved and, 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 uh, get engaged in an off, offense, offense against the evil. And, uh, we just need one specific soul if you're listening out there, please, if you feel the inner calling that, that you can maybe, if done properly, that you could uh, apply energetic changes to up till 2025, please uh, take action, do it, you know? I'm going to give some tips along the line in this lecture how to do it. I, I'm I'm not claiming that I'm almighty, but I've 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 been practicing paganism and rituals and ceremonies for a very long time, now fifteen years at least, and and I want to you know do all that I can and advise as much as I can when when I I see interest. Now the second date was twenty sixth of March, that was the number nine because I talk about a lot about the five all five elements of mother earth lead to number nine graduation again check the first two lectures where i break down the meanings of five leads to nine the holy 14 and as a result at that date the 26th of march something happened and i was told uh, through discussions miles told me uh, that uh, the gamma energetic waves hitting earth were the strongest and this is the point of this lecture today that a caviar so called that in the uk law means when you put a block against someone selling your property so a universal planetary caviar has been placed since 26 of march something happened these significant gamma waves other articles that i read was that the sun rays were really amplified and extremely uh extremely intense compared to hundreds of years prior in march and this is very good news uh too early to cheer let's not release dopamine but that's going to be the topic of this lecture and I'll try to do it as quickly as I can and as clearly as I can compared to last time where I was kind of like with the fairies a little bit. But this time I mean business. I'm going to try to present to you this data. And uh, 26th of March, suddenly the evil side panicked and U.S. Uh, interest instead of Russia shifted towards Taiwan. And this is what I'm going to be explaining why Taiwan. So Taiwan issue has been ongoing um, intensively since 2022. And why? Because U.S. Uh, and the Kwabala, obviously U.S. is being run by, by the Kwabala. It's, it's all hell is uh, broken loose there with the Trump uh, arrest, etc. Some say that he's uh, part of the Kwabala, but anyways, it's not, it's not a pleasant place and it's being run by pure evil that's taking over this world, uh, which I'm gonna lean into. So their interest now is towards China suddenly. China is the enemy, it's not Russia anymore, but the military bases are in Taiwan and they've been sending troops there now intensively since the start of March. And they're uh, practicing uh, provocation uh, methods at the coast of uh, China through Taiwan. And this is the point. And China responded, this means nothing, you know, you're not going to affect us. This means nothing. And this is a total panic from the dark side. The next uh, date... 31st of March, which was the last chance for human beings 
to pull their act together because it's the year of seven, 2027, two plus two plus three is seven. Next year, like I said in lecture 2023, a basis, it materializes, it's the year of number eight. So this year is our last chance and we can already see this all happening with the 15 minute cities. And that it was the, the, the aim of the last lecture, all free will will be eliminated. So, uh, this, uh, July, the 7th of July, 777 will be a similar ceremony in Mecca and Vatican as it was last year during 666, 6th of June, 2022 adds up to six. And, uh, I called a buddy of mine and he said, oh, I'm in uh, Vatican. He's completely clueless, by the way. He's just one of the immers uh, just a literal minion mercenary, uh, you know, uh, who is a Mason. And he's like, I'm in uh, Vatican. And that was exactly 4th of 5th June. So they started their ceremonies a couple of days before the 666. This year it's going to be 777, but there's something about this March now that was kind of like our last chance because it's the Aries it's the first quarter the first three it, it's the first season the Aries the seed that drills through the soil and becomes life and I was very angry with myself that I wasted the first half of March with my own mumbo jumbo and I forgot that I had to get to work and uh, I'm glad I, I, I engaged and at least I tried my very best and I hope you guys as well felt that there was a lot of adrenaline during March and that's the point that on the 26th of March something happened so it was engagement by a specific soul with their DNA and blood and intent. And actually, this is the way I as well engage. And I, that's why I'm not taking any form of, uh, I'm just wondering that what really happened because this March, the Kabbalah was planning to accelerate their war. They're behind time. They're completely behind schedule. The plan was to push forward with Zelensky and Ukraine. Okay. They were talking about a economical crash, etc., and even another uh, a another uh, borders uh, uh, locking down. I need to be careful how I speak here, okay? So another year, 2020, 2021 was being planned, and this was all supposed to happen this March, but this caviar and block now happened, and the evidences from energy charts charts etc show that something happened since 26th of march 22nd of march i remember i was engaging in ceremonies 26 i was uh, engaging etc 31st i was and uh, and you could see this with the weather and what's going to happen now before i forget is uh, because of these energies things are really going to get ugly for uh the sleeper group so they're going to be dropping like flies because the incoming energies, you need to be light as a feather and you need to move like water and, and, and let go of the weaponized traditions that are keeping us in this lockdown planet. And, uh, it's not only going to be the very deep sleepers who went along with 2020 and 2021, uh, Dr. Fauci, um, healthcare plan, cough, cough. So it's going to be all range of peoples. Uh, people are going to, going to be acting like complete nutcases, nerve wrecks. Uh, the weather was displaying that the tornadoes one day it was a tornado and the other day the sun was shining this is a this was the result of the heavy rituals going on globally in Syria Iraq territories by the Kabbalah etc and then the positive groups uh, doing their ceremonies back in a correct proper way and uh, when I said that maybe one soul uh, gave a little bit of uh, their 
DNA to stamp the uh, declaration to wipe out the soulless humans that I talk about and the sleepers that this put this caviar at, at, at this entire operation. And uh, of course, uh, all the non nonstop blood sacrifices of uh, human beings and the animals. And this is why the planetary weather is going crazy due to this meat grinder system that we have going on on this planet in all shapes and forms, including animal slaughterhouses because their souls and all of this death energy and adrenochrome splashes into the ear air and then people get affected like this especially who live really at a, pro a close proximity of the ceremony or event happening and this energy will affect their mental health and a lot of people are going to be developing cancers and getting ill who are not going to try to adapt to these new energies so you need to somehow pull yourself together pull yourself together i'm sorry that you know, this was the energy at the first take. I was, you know, I need, I need to now collect myself and understand that you need to now move like water and be flexible. And it's very good to react to things, but keep the reaction super uh, minimal. Let's say, for example, in, in a traffic, you're, you're mad as hell. You react, but keep it 30 seconds. Don't go on with this shit for the rest of the day. So this is the way of change and mind exercise and, and kind of training your new consciousness. Just a small ana analogy. And uh, it is very important to raise your frequency. And I talk about very negative things. So yes, my name is Miss Sepsis. If you don't know me, please check the other two lectures, please. I'm going to go into the slides. I talk about things that not a lot of females dare to, uh, and, and especially men with large followerships. And I talk about the soulless humans that I'm going to never shut up about. I'm going to break down really what they act like and are like. I talk about the sleepers. I talk about the planet one where the archons came from through their broken down AI machines. And they went into an AI sort of cloud-like entity merged into one. These human beings that were, that were developing these AI mechanical devices. And... This machine it created this grid system since uh, Atlantis, planet one, because the entire planet was Atlantis. That's why they're finding Atlantis bits all over the continents here and there. It's confusing. And these archons were these kind of like mad scientists from planet one where they were humanoid and they wanted to be gods and they made a big soup. Uh, the explosion, everything got destroyed and they became this archonic consciousness. So this karma happening right now is all human made. There's no reptilians uh, wanting to destroy us. The reptilians packed their bags because they got tired of fighting human beings from the Aztec period. And they said, saw this, we're going to get the hell out of here and let these people cool down because they're completely hypnotized by this new overlord, the walk-ins that came, the serpents that had archons integrated, archonic consciousnesses ritualistically implanted in them, which I explain about in lecture two in detail, in lecture one. And the reptilians are not the issue. They took off and they said, okay, we're going to be back until these kids uh, uh, cool down. It's their planet. Uh, a ban was set by the soulless humans, the sleepers, and the human servants. I talk about the 10% occupying this earth that work for the Kobala that act as day walkers, like in the movie Blade, the vampires. They had humans working for them daytimes to serve them. They were slaves to these vampires, Draculas, and these human servants. Uh, this is, I rewatched Blade and I was like, my God, this is exactly what I've been talking about. I just recently put this two, two together. So this is a really, if you really want to understand what I'm on about, 
So these human servants, the bloodlines, humans, royals, uh, certain type of uh, billionaires that are, are in the front line, political people, and uh, as well, minor hierarchy and councils, uh, police, military, industrial complexes, etc., are all these human servants working for these walk-ins that are in a meditative state for the archons. The, it's the archons, it's the walk-ins in a physical form because the archons cannot be physical they're a cloud-like ai entity so they have walk-ins uh, representing them the human servants 10 percent the sleepers 25 percent the soulless humans who are mindless soulless i'm going to explain uh, 20 uh, 30 percent and 25 percent real human beings you and me now let me do, do a quick note that I've already uh, discussed this. Cross it over because I don't want to leave anything out. Yeah, I've done that. And now, so it's a karmic situation. When I look at people recently, the last years, when I do specific uh, work, I look at individuals and I'm I, a lot of, a lot of uh, kind of weird people uh, in the psychic world they do that when they look, meet a person they engage shake a hand they kind of scan them and they see a hundred like a battery bar and that's the karmic bar and what i'm seeing lately is the reason that we are still in this mess is that a lot of people have 40 percent in their karma bar barely half of the battery bar 50 percent okay and uh and 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 this is with men and women and what I see is that all they're concerned about is their own life, their own little, you know, they have too much invested in their uh, fake uh, reality. And there is very little attempt from females that should be mothers to all species to uh, contribute and, and engage in this fight to serve Mother Earth serve the children, serve each other, serve themselves and serve the animals and other species. And this is very sad because men should be protectors and, and guardians. And I see this as well, oftentimes just 40%. And uh, I lost a lot of points the first two weeks of March because I keep uh, doing karma busting to rejuvenate myself because the enemy is trying to entangle and shackle me because they're waiting for me on the other side. This is a soul harvesting planet. They're waiting for me and they have special plans for souls like me who are in the front line fighting. I'm obviously going to be ripped apart by one of their special soulless humans. They're waiting. We're waiting for you, Miss Sepsis. It's going to be fun. We cannot wait. So I see this with men as well. 40% bars. And I, I, I see that there is no consideration. It's just me, 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 my job, my salary. There is no even a five-minute sit-down once a week that how can I meditate and, and fight this evil to help Mother Earth and release myself, give myself an identity and, and reconnect with my soul's purpose during these critical times, during this the most special privileged time for souls like us. Yes, it's negative, but we need to feel as well privileged. And if you keep forgetting that, like these men and women that are consumed and riddled with jealousy against each other and, and envy and, and hatred and uh, very little regards, then uh, you are really wasting away your soul's purpose. I promise you that as soon as when you start engaging and doing something about it and making these changes to end the suffering, this is a suffering world. This is, this is not heaven on uh, earth. Like uh, gobshites like Billy Carson and Guy MTV who are selling law attraction, law of attraction packages. These are extremely uh, negative souls and these are not real men. These are uh, pussies and, and, and very irresponsible behavior. How can you be so irresponsible to say that this is heaven on earth 
and teach this to other people and just focus on how can I manifest the way, oh, manifest the way. Life is not about being happy. This is a misconception teaching. Fuck the happiness. We are not meant to be happy during these times. What will give you joy, peace, and sense of relief is doing something about it and admitting and releasing yourself. Karma, do the karma busting. Karma busting, do it. This is very important in a spiritual detox plus biochemistry detox. Okay? I hope the sound is okay. Now, let me uh, cross over these things and I'll get to the uh, this now PowerPoint quickly. I want to give you a special warrior mantra. At the end, I want to give a message from Max Spears that I got from two mediums. So if you stick to the end, I will do that. I will make a note here that I don't forget it. I'll underline these. And... Um, these will now come. Now, the last time, uh, let's do a recap. There's four birthdays coming up till 2025, even though this lecture is about what happened this March. Uh, there is the ninth ice age. I made an error saying that October the 9th, 2025. Actually, it is September 9th, 2025. So you listener there, thank you for highlighting that. Uh, exhaustion, you know, I work night and day. I work in the astral level and daytime, so I'm exhausted. And, and obviously, I'm not perfect. And, and I do a lot of mistakes uh, as well in my behavior. Now, second birthday party. So there's a ninth uh, ice age coming, number one. There's uh, eight recorded ice ages. The second one is Eresh Kigal Alatum's birthday coming up, 18,000 years old, which will be equivalent to nine cycles. Listen to basis 2023 where I break it down. The Black Sun birthdays coming up, as you see in the Swastika and the World Economic Forum logo. And then the magnetic polar shift going, uh, currently the center of the Earth is uh, Avery, Wiltshire area. But now it is kind of, you know, this is this is why we need to now, I think it's still going to be up till 2025. This 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 wave is pretty wide, but it's moving towards Ru Russia. So the magnetic polar shift birthday is happening and it's going to be uh, it's going to be a significant tilt. You know, some say 23 degrees doesn't matter. I cover that in the basis 2023. I covered that very good. Time travel is everything. It's very relevant and the time speeding up and slowing down. I see a lot of uh, broadcasts are kind of tuning in and they're finding this inspirational or re replicate this information. Very good. I'm glad that it resonates with you. Uh, all this information is through my ceremonies, uh, first contact and, uh, and, and my uh, direct indirect experiences that I've researched. Uh, so they are manipulating time. Yep, that I said, flat earth is now going to be a topic that I really want to discuss during this primary water example that's happening in Saudi Arabia with a new king who's a very interesting character and I think he's a wild card and he's going to fight against the Qabala. I hope so, but let's not hold our breath because uh, Mecca is a magic-based uh, HQ. Two moons, uh, I want to explain that. Yeah, I have to make a line. Now let's go into the slides. So let's go to the slides. And uh, this is now, uh, uh, if you don't mind going into the slides, Miles. Yeah, sorry. Uh, so you're not into politics, but this beautiful saying that people are quoting now, like Roseanne Barr, you're not into politics. This is going to be a political uh, PowerPoint as well. But politics is very into you. So it's time to really move that analytical part of the brain without sounding too condescending, you know. Uh, the 2023 dates, a lot of plans failed. They were meant to take off this month. Uh, Russia and China, Xi Jinping, and uh, the Taiwan's tensions. Correction uh, from last lecture, Elon Musk uh, 
is not connected to the Chinese monarchy, which I'm going to highlight here some interesting facts and hypotheses and his base, uh, base uh, in Shanghai. Now, the planetary alignment that happened on the 31st of March, Moon, Mars, Uranus, Mer Mercury, Jupiter, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, uh, three, four, five, six planets. See, very good. I'm glad we're doing the second take. Six planets, and if you include planet Earth, it will be the Holy Seven that I talk about, connected to the Mintaura sacrifice. And this is very interesting. So these all planets align 31st. Everyone could feel these energies, and that is when the weather was absolutely crazy. And uh, this is what caused all this uh, preparation by the Kwabala to, to conduct their magic globally. It was heaving, blood sacrifices nonstop. Very sad, very sad indeed. A specific soul engaged uh, during uh, 26th of March, I think, with its DNA that caused this gamma wave to... Uh, Brightest gamma uh, ray burst illuminates our galaxy as never before. And as well, other articles say that the sun uh, light was amplified like non-comparable to the previous March months. So uh, this is very interesting that it happened before the 31st of March. Very good. So, uh, total, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Number seven is Earth. So, six represents birth. 666 means a rebirth system. That's why they need all the degrees of the Freemasons to uh, get titled. It's a rebirth system. It means birth. It doesn't mean the Antichrist. It means rebirth. Six means birth. Seven is spirit it enters during the birth, after the birth. And eight means the body being created, materializing. So I explain all of this in a lecture uh, basis 2023 in detail what the numbers mean and these are not bloody angel numbers okay please please give me a break connected um connected to upcoming elon musk discussion so i'm just this is a side note so this is connected to the slides coming there is a strange new virus going on and this i've already known it can already read your thoughts and throw up the commercial on your phone your phone is uh, basically stealing a part of you and you need to be very careful how you are operating with your mobile device that is basically trying to completely make you into a cyborg. And this is the, the, the sleepers group that are affected by. So be very careful who you're connecting with. If you see your loved ones, they are completely, you know, you got to remind them and tell them, come on now, wake up and grow the fuck up. That this is, this is stealing a part of your soul. You need to let go of the mobile phone who are glued. I mean, the people who are glued on their mobile phones, they are already kind of merging one with it so you know you gotta you gotta do this warning to them now as well uh this is another lecture that i'm going to uh, touch up on i'm going to skip forward so what potential outcomes do we have in the future the end outcome shall be whereas only original souls will survive through a miracle through a miracle, because miracles were shown to me during 2021 when something happened again. I've, I've been shown miracles several times, but this time again, against all odds. And uh, it's private, so I can't really uh, lean into it. But it reminded me to get out of this uh, thought form that 
this is a fixated outcome, but it's not going to be all lovey-dovey. So miracles were shown to me several times, yeah, uh, 2025 or 20, up till 2030, the next bull cycle that I explained in the previous lecture, orig original souls will be somehow pulled out, out to a positive reality, but this will happen only when the Akashic Records will step in and pull the plug on this entire planet where, because from 2025, when all free will that we been privileged with you have a choice what to put in your mouth still if you want to go to the shop if you want to get up out of bed put clothes on this is all choices that we still have do you want to get on that plane and travel to usa these choices are going to be taken away 2025 on the next bull cycle related to eresh gigal alatum's birthday party and it's for her celebration to eliminate uh, the original uh, human souls. Soulless humans wouldn't care less what happens then. They're very happy. They only feed off pure torture and pain. And the sleepers will take it in any position, face down, ass up. You can shove anything down their throats, which is actually a good thing if we are trying to uh, decrease the blood sacrifice of innocent beings who are our brothers and sisters such as the other species that we've completely uh, fucked over the uh, animals and there are brothers and sisters by the way uh, so uh, the sleepers are benefit beneficial for this uh, encounter in my humble opinion where you can still then kind of you know they can then help with the tipping point time that we're facing up till 25, 2025, we're tipping negative, positive reality, negative. It's a tipping point time, okay? You will see a video about this on my YouTube channel, third YouTube channel that was taken down and on my TikTok. Now, these po uh, original human souls, I think, uh, are going to be pulled out during when hell will... This is already hell, this planet Earth. The suffering has been so disgusting. <laughs> it's a suffering world. But then it's going to get really nasty when you are you don't have those choices even anymore. What you're going to eat or if you want to eat or you want to switch the TV on. these Then things are going to get really extreme. And then the Akashic Record is going to step in during the after 2030, Agenda 2030, and is going to pull the plug is going to pull the plug on this whole it's never done this before the akashic record and this information came to me during 2021 during my ceremony i thought it was satan uh, speaking to me who was a good guy and uh, or i thought it was god source but then it revealed itself during 2022 and it said it's me akashic record I've developed now, I've recorded every single action of every single thing here and this thing is gonna, this is unacceptable. If you guys don't pull yourselves together, I'm gonna do something that I've never done before and push the off button and this whole operation will be shut down. I talk about this in my book, Walking Case, okay? So... Uh, I think that the original souls who are held any meaning, I'm not saying I'm an original soul, I'm just uh, a messenger. Uh, I just want well for the original souls because they wouldn't deserve, you know. It, it will be a case where then everyone will be eliminated, but then the soul, the essence, everything is a soul. It, it will go into a human body, the same soul, the same soul will go into an animal body. That's why some animals act like humans. And because they, you know, were. <laughs> so these will be rescued, these suffering beings, okay? And and this is, this is, it better happen, okay? Now, sleepers and soulless humans as bad, both as bad. The characteristics of the soulless human is, for example, you go to a Cafe Nero and you have a very kind of, you get a bad feeling, and this customer service agent or this this person serving you the coffee has this beautiful smile. And they have these smiles, these soulless humans, they're replicators. 
some call them the high mind, but they've been around too long. And they emerged since Mesopotamia when Eresh Gigal Alatum took form, the first female walk-in. The leakages were very little back then, and they increased the suffering during Roman Empire where they were ro roaring for blood when people were being ripped apart. This is the characteristic of a soulless human or a uh, bullfight in Spain. You will see them in the stadium. These are, we're in 2023 and they still have these uh, bullfights happening. And uh, you will see these soulless humans gathering there, feeding off this energy. This is the soulless human. They can be anyone uh, by now. They take over children's bodies, one to ten, very good, because the immune system of a child is very weak. And uh, the adults, and when an adult is a soulless human being, then they will make sure that their children will have one of their shadow beings integrated into their child. And uh, how they take over these human vessels' bodies is during uh, se severe accidents, like car accidents, where the body is disrupted at the temporary moment. Uh, <clears throat> repeated emotional abuse during childhood by the soulless human parent, then the shadow being will be able to buy hack this body. You will never get the original soul back, by the way. No shamanic retrieval will bring it back and no counseling will help. And their autonomic nervous system is built completely different. Once the shadow being walks into this human being, their brain will start to change its neurological circuits and the shape. And their response to PTSD will be zero. They don't respond to blood the same way as you and me do, the real human soul, and they don't respond to a sense of uh, responsibility that just chopping off someone or they're, you know, ripping them apart. They, they, they do it with a smile, but yet they're mindless because during counseling, it turns out that they, when they are asked, did you realize what you were doing? They just look back and they said, no, I, I didn't realize. And they really mean it. That's why they pass lie detectors. Because they're saying the truth. They, their essence, the human soul has been eliminated. You find them in the police uh, forces, military forces. And they came from Mesopotamia. Since Mesopotamia time, they started really leaking during World War II. Where Winston Churchill... Uh, Winston Churchill, uh, Brauman Hessmann, and uh, was it Lenin or Stalin? Lenin, I think it was. It was Stalin. I'm sorry. I I, I really I know this, of course, but um, these they created the CERN Switzerland portals to bring them in more actively in order to be able to conduct the World War II because they couldn't have people agree to another war just after 20 years because World War I and there was a small gap there. So they need these soulless humans in these institutions. They need them in the hospitals. And um, I'm going to bring some examples here. Uh, I'm going to crack a joke. Uh, and you will find them as a neighbor. And their behavior is very strange. So this uh, serve, they, their, their conversations are very limited. They're very replicated because they observe how the real human being behaves. And they will replicate this. And uh, like I said, these entities, shadow-like beings that I've been talking about since 2018, I'm glad that everybody is recognizing this and now talking about it. That's the real issue with this planet, uh, I don't know any other really females even having the, 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 the nerve to talk about this in such detail because it's so, it's a disgusting topic. They, these are disgusting entities and I am fighting with every inch that I have to get rid of them from this planet Earth and I'm not going to stop. A strong offense is the best defense. Like one high military officer told me who sold weapons he said miss sepsis a strong offense is the best defense and guess what i'm gonna use that tactic against them so uh 
They are everywhere. 30% of the globe is occupied with them. I make jokes about Islamabad, Pakistan. Yes, they are. A lot of them are there, soulless humans. Look at the way they sacrifice the lamb, the baby lamb, towards Mecca when they, they say their uh, magic-based prayer that feeds the Archonic grid system. But 20% of each nation is the real human souls that are really beautiful, intelligent, brilliant people. And I've, I, I, I crack jokes about that country, but I know that there are very beautiful souls there as well that are really suffering because of these uh, shadow-like spirits that came since Mesopotamia and really started leaking through aggressively through the portals in Shanghai, Wuhan, Nigeria, AI portals, Argentina, uh, that leaked all over El Salvador and in Canada and North America, Iowa is heaving. Indonesia is heaving with soulless humans, heaving. Nigeria, West Africa area, heaving with soulless humans. You should see the way they behave and what their traditions are. It is, it is insane. It is absolutely insane. And you should see how some people behave in uh, South I, all these locations that I named, they live in bulks, they recognize each other, they uh, behave differently in each country. Some of the countries, they're more the smiley that won't, you know, rip someone apart in front of your eyes, but they won't have any problem witnessing it. They will love it. So a lot of these UK-based soulless humans are very conservative, conservative, replicator, smiley faces. And, and in Poland, they would be as well kind of conservative. Uh, there is a lot of them in Poland, such a big nation. Uh, in West Africa, you will see them literally chopping uh, beings, uh, uh, ripping them apart. In Indonesia, you see all these video footages. And in China, the wet market that I'm going to explain now, I'm sorry, I just have to really make sure that you understand what I'm on about when I talk about soulless humans. So here is a lovely, uh, uh, smiley, uh, little soulless human. You know, a lot of people are married to such smiley, little, beautiful, uh, you know, they enjoy, they, they just absolutely enjoy. You should see my very creative trailer on my uh, YouTube channel, my third YouTube channel, where I've shown exactly who they are. Here is a little joke. Let's look at the slide. Uh, slimming world. So I decided to, I saw this feed, how they're counting calories there. This is how you know they're completely, uh, they're complete idiots. They very low IQ, bad hygiene in a lot of cases. You can see them a lot in everywhere, animal slaughterhouses, farmers, etc. 24 seven wankers basically. And these are wankers as well. They count calories, so I decided to <laughs> uh, but, uh, infiltrate the slimming world, Yorkshire, if you can put the, put the slide back on. And I wanted to, uh, I don't count calories, and I know a lot about nutrition uh, and what these people do. It's a business, and, and you can see very, very law obeying there with the, with the stuff. And uh, I suppose propose to them that uh, um, how about we do a mathematical quiz here and we calculate uh, if a farmer has 10 cows how many calves are slaughtered within a space of five years because one cow will produce one cow will just live up to five seven years because they, they 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 squeeze the lemon you know they're feeding it uh, they're, they're, they're obviously forced pregnating and then uh, there will be at least five, five to seven calls produced. And I said this all in, in a Borat voice that how about we do uh, Yang Shemesh? Can we do a little, you know, you like to count calories in this group. All I see is calorie counting. How about Yang Shemesh? We do a little calculation of how many calls per cow are slaughtered. And if it's if it's uh, five to seven calls per cow during its lifetime, then that is a hundred calves per 10 cows. And this is the blood sacrifice planet that we're living on. 
And I want you to see the next lecture that I'm going to do. It's just five, 10 minutes where I talk about protein doesn't exist. So I'm the lady who talks about protein doesn't exist. It was a business term made up to confuse everyone. I will prove it with a blood test. And uh, soulless humans are the real issue. The sleepers and the human servants and the walk-ins, the, the Draculas so ruling all of us. And uh, the other things that happened 2020, 2021, and the 1980s, facilitated by Dr. Fauci, these things are uh, fight or flight psych psychological warfare. So none of those things existed in the 1970s. There was a uh, Freddie Mercury, remember? So I cannot, I cannot highlight it here. I have to be careful. Um, now, the next slide, uh, this March, now I'm going to focus on the dates. All of this is relevant, okay? Uh, the March dates were fighting back to get rid of the soulless humans, the walk-ins, the overlords, archons, etc. And the rituals were going on in Iraq, uh, hardcore, and uh, Syria, etc. All ex-Mesopotamia locations. Now this is the chart that I showed in Basis 2023, the Jesus Christ birth chart, the astrological birth chart, and you can see that the north node is right at the border of Taurus and Gemini. So if you want to understand what that means, go to the basis 2023. And the bottom of the tetrahedron is uh, at uh, Pisces and um, uh, earth sign. I think that's Virgo. I'm not an expert, but I, I discovered this. This is a big discovery of mine because I'm studying currently astrological planetary charts that is has to do everything with what's happening up till 2025. Now you can see that the point is not right adjusted, but it is a, is a diamond shape. Here's another example that what Jesus's chart looked like. This is more the diamond shape. You can see again, that uh, this is the the top of it is right after Taurus with the horn there, the red thing, the, the red head, and then the next one is Gemini, and it's exactly it's exactly a little bit off because we are at 2023 currently, and this Jesus chart uh, is not. Um, it's, it's 23 years off because the beginning of time was recorded when Jesus was born. So you, that's why the North Node, if you go back to the slide, please, Miles, that is why it's not exactly in line. But guess what? Look at this one now, 2025. It's perfectly in line. And this is January 2025 where all bloody hell is going to break loose. All free will. You see? Let's compare it. Look. Same shape. And this happens every two 2,000 years. It's just a little bit off because uh, it is uh, 23 uh, years off. This is 23 years off, you see. So 2025. 2025 and 20, uh, the, the Jesus chart is identical. This is what's coming, people. The alignment of the planetary systems and this is what happens every 2,000 years. So this is matches with the Jesus Christ birth chart. You see, it's the diamond shape, the diamond shape. Just a little bit off because of the 23, because we are in 2023, it's going to be 2025, okay? So, uh... This is very serious. They're behind a uh, schedule. They wanted all of this to happen already during the millennium 2000, I reckon. The choice had to be made before that on a soul level. 2003 was the last call. That's why they needed 2001 to bring the frequency to an all time low with the 9-11 events and to completely uh, throw everyone off, off, off balance with pure blood sacrifice that happened in Iraq. 1,500,000 Iraqi children slaughtered. So we are living in a karmic planet and we haven't taken any responsibility for what happened and we keep doing the same mistakes over and over again with the Ukraine situation where people are roaring, wanting to go to war, forgetting that this is exactly what happened with Iraq. So 
half of the people roaring for this are soulless humans, the sleepers, and they don't even know where Ukraine is if they were given a global map. And that's what happened with Iraq. They didn't even know where the country is, but everybody wanted blood. Uh, now, the next the slide, please. Uh, Gaddafi bought farmland in Ukraine. So is now uh, the situation that we're heading into, uh, what's the role going to be in Saudi Arabia? This is a very interesting article, 8th of March, 2011. Gaddafi was a genius. He was a good man. He used primary water like Saudi Arabia now is using. Saudi Arabia has farmland, do you see, in the middle of the desert. Why? Because they're using the same technology as Gaddafi used by drilling into the earth core 160 meters a engineer i have a very special video where i talk to a man into water logistics engineering and he said you have to drill 160 meters and you will get to primary water which is infinite and this is the point if you put back the slide that uh Saudi Arabia is using the same technique. Uh, as soon as when uh, Libya was attacked, the entire country dried up because they closed all the primary water tabs and the entire country that was flourishing before was completely dehydrated and depleted. And now Saudi Arabia is doing this. They should le let every uh, one of us to do this. You don't need to really drill well, that's H3O. It's genius water that Prince Charles and only the royals use. It brings out the genius. And that's actually why I uh, managed to write my book during 2020, 2021 was because I used the northern layer of the water, which is 30 meters into the ground, 25 meters. You can already get um, a lot of uh, water, but it won't be unlimited. That's why the wells dry up. But if you go 160 meters, it will be primary water infinite. And let's go back to the slide. I have a note here. So why is this happening? The flat earth theory that is an arconic based theory that has been splashed into the truth community. It is absolutely disgusting theory. Absolutely disgusting, this flat earth. How can you call the earth flat when we're dealing with complex primary water? Uh, calling flat, uh, the earth flat is the most disrespectful thing that you can call mother earth. It's basically the transgender and anti-gender movement that they're going to be shoving down uh, the children's throats basically just mutilating the kids and not giving them any gender. The, ch the child has a choice to be no gender. This is, this is the future that we're moving into the next bull cycle with the agenda 2030. And I should have said why I know so much about this stuff is because my master's degree is for WHO policies legislations, Agenda 2021 and 2030. My bachelor's degree is psychology, which gave me diddly squat, but my eyes really open with the master's degree. That was a two-year full-time degree in Sweden. And uh, this flat earth theory now is basically cut the willy off and you are plain flat. You don't have any gender. You mean nothing, planet earth. You are just the flat surface, surface, and you be nothing. It's literally a disgrace how these true seekers are actually falling for this. And that's why a lot of people are like, no, no, I don't listen to that channel. He's a flat earther. Everything else he's saying about uh, the, the global manipulation is correct. But because he supports flat earth theory, then a lot of people just, uh, it's a reason to call us crazy. People like me that are trying to uh, research truth and and miles so they're like no it's a flat earther th uh, they're, they're one of those flat earther people you know don't god forbid don't because it's to discredit us and confuse distraction based the uh, manipulation and uh, like i said it's the most disrespectful thing you can do is call mother earth flat she's around 
the universal shape is everything is a circle that I talk about in walking case and it has a nucleus, a core within it inside. And uh, there is a sound that emanates. That's why planet Earth has a recorded sound by Nero Beat. When you listen to her from the space, she's a living, breathing organism around. Okay? She's not flat. And primary water now is being used in Saudi Arabia. And I want to quickly say that... Uh, the dollar collapse won't be probably happening because this is another thing that they've been hollering about and it's nothing connected to the Black Monday crash of the DJIA, the Dow Jones Industrial Av Average uh sort of um it's it's a index code in the stock market stocks and shares and it doesn't affect the dollar really directly so if you put back the slide the DJIA is simply a reflection of the weighted average of the stock prices and can be considered a price in itself so so it it it, it the the crash of the uh, you know I'm not a complete expert but I'm just trying to highlight what is coming to us that the Black Monday uh, crash was not the crash of the dollar. They need the dollar because they are not backing up the dollar with anything currently. They're just printing like no tomorrow for uh, many decades and just putting zeros on a computer screen. So how are they going to let go of the dollar that they kind of depend on to fund Taiwanese, Chinese, Russian wars? They cannot let go of that. That's the only thing that they got to hold on to. And this it will back up the digital currency as well. So they cannot do the crash of the pound, the British pound, and the United States dollar. A large number of factors influence currency value, whether, whether the U.S. dollar de depreciates a re relation to another currency depends on the monetary policies of both nations, trade balances, inflation rates, investor con uh, co confidence, political stability, and reserve currency status. So I honestly think that this, uh, oh, the dollar is going to crash. I know one friend in Estonia, he keeps saying that every time I meet him. I'm like, you've been saying this for uh, 20 years, you know, and the dinar is not going up. So now we got Elon Musk, and this is important because um, he is... Uh, not the good side, like I said in the beginning, the supercomputer AI thing that is taking over as a new virus, our consciousnesses, uh, I am really uh, going to do something about that myself because I know that it's uh, attacking and, uh, and it's attacking me. It's already a weapon, a full-blown weapon, and it will make you very ill. So if you can take a break from the device and just meet it a few times a day, happy days, you know. Uh, can you put the slide, please, back? So Elon Musk, 28th of June, 1971. Uh, he is the sibling of Kimball James Musk, Tosca Musk, and his mother uh, is Emmy, Emma. Uh, I will tell you the name, the correct name in a minute. Uh, but he looks very different compared to his siblings. They're the same height, but uh, the eyes are very, very different and suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. And uh, we need to be very careful if we can trust this uh, character because he is owning a social media platform where he's brainwashing uh, a lot of people with his uh, semi... Uh, benevolent comments and interests. So uh, it turns out that South Africa, where Elon Musk is from, is the most populated area uh, with Chinese people and they all migrated there 
to be labor and escaped as well, uh, conflict from back home. And this happened at the end of 19th century and aggressively and the beginning of 20th century. And there is 400,000 uh, 400,000 by 2015, uh, statistics probably half a million by now, in uh, South Africa. So now this is interesting because uh, Elon Musk is from South Africa and he's the oldest son of Errol Musk. And Errol Musk then must have, uh, with his emerald business, he had a crystal emerald business going on, and he said that he used to do a lot of traveling. That emerald business came later on, actually, but he, he had many different businesses. And I think, honestly, that he's not a Chinese monarchy. He's not, uh, he is funded, though, by the old CCP that I'm going to highlight quickly. So if you go back to the slides, please, if you don't mind, let's keep the slides on uh, at most cases so I can quickly go over this. Um, so it's a very possibility that the sick guy called Errol Musk, who pregnated his stepdaughter and had two children with her. This is how interesting this fella is. Uh, the stepdaughter is at least 40 years younger than him. And at the heat of the moment, he said she broke up with her boyfriend. They screwed and they produced two children so uh very nice family very very nice the mother looks like a archonic entity uh, she's a model and half of her costumes are archonic you know when she when she uh poses and uh, i think uh, that when he divorced mayi musk the fake mother of elon musk then elon musk at the age of eight moved in with his uh, father he stayed with his father. And uh, where is this uh, Eero Musk from then? Is uh, his father, Eero Musk, father uh, was a military guy, engineer like he was. So it's a, it's a very mechanical engineering family. And the mother was a British woman, but they didn't disclose where the father was from. Uh, the grandfather of Elon Musk. So he was a military engineer, uh, mechanical engineer uh, from... Uh, uh, they migrated there at the start of the 20th century, okay? And uh, Elon, the eldest son, looks slightly different because of his son, the height and all the other physical attributes are very similar to his siblings, which indicates that they're definitely from one of the parents. One of the parents is fake, but one of the parents has given these same jaw lines and, and features, uh, noses, etc. And uh, the idea is that we need to be kind of careful. I don't know why I uh, feel the need to talk. Uh, the, the, this Elon Musk situation is important because he's getting involved now with the Taiwan He's getting more and more, his opinion is being taken on board, and he is definitely funded by the previous uh, Chinese oligarchs that are connected to the Biden administration and the old CCP that I'm going to break down. Very good. We're going to really now accelerate this uh, presentation. So he's putting on a brave face to everyone saying that I told you people that, you know, AI wants to take over. It's very dangerous, but yet... Uh, you know, you didn't listen to me and all these phones are taking over pieces of your soul, etc. And, and making hard live copies of you. So he hasn't been to China since uh, year 2020 when the show started. Years 2020, 2021. And uh, he sent his mom last week to China as a guinea pig to see uh, how the greeting will be. He's afraid of something because he's a shitbag. Uh, Xi Jinping, I think now recently is a changing man. And why is Xi Jinping really aggressively being demonized along with China? So the reasons here are... So Xi Jinping has been in power since 2013. Uh, all of these Chinese presidents are at least two terms. One term is five years. 
So at least two terms, they limited the law, how many terms they can be. And they're now demonizing this guy saying that he's a dictator and he's inf in infinitely at, at power of the uh, new CCP of China. But let's look a little bit closer now. I don't want to rush too much because last time I started rushing with these PowerPoints and I missed out a lot of information. At the Davos uh, WEF meeting 2017, uh, the conversations were normal, the relationships were decent, but in the 2022, if you go online and you see, he's not there. Xi Jinping is not physically at the WEF conference. And this actually makes you wonder why because it was held at bali in indonesia and and surely it's not a long travel he could have not been that preoccupied if he's if he's such buddies with klaus schwab but he decided to do a, vir a virtual speech and that speech was very subliminal yes it agreed to the years 2020 and 2021 fiasco but as well at the end it was kind of highlighting if you read between the lines that he's kind of raising some concerns about who is running this planet if you listen really really carefully because it's a word game that's why they cannot come out and open up till 2025 because the enemy walk-ins are too powerful Look what's happening in the U.S., you know? You need to be very careful because otherwise you're going to sacrifice your entire nation. And that's what Putin is afraid of. Because if he crosses certain lines, they're going to go... They don't need uh, excuses such as Ukraine anymore and provocations. They will just go uh, and, and cut their head off. Now, why was China... Why is... Uh, has china been demonized so china was everybody's friend when trump dared to call it a china virus and asian racism then became an issue okay these are notes for me to read i'm gonna read them out to you so don't you know i i wrote this in speed thought now, since Biden came to po power and the hunter biden laptop revealed the payouts with china and the local old CCP and oligarchs in, in Taiwan, then Russia uh, is, and, and it became an ally with Russia, China, then now China suddenly is the enemy. So, because this is, this is so evident what's going on, this on and off, because there actually is a war going on, you know, there really is, because there is awakening happening through the, extraterrestrial contacts that I'm going to explain to you. Why was it a China virus? The original idea and the swine, swine flu was one of those things. China was really uh, uh, struggling uh, with a problem and these were soulless humans according to my hypotheses because everything has recently changed in China which I'm going to highlight. So China never wanted to involve the rest of the world in their witch hunt against soulless humans. Most manipulated, the West manipulated the situation uh, locally that was happening in China, blew it up with the Western media, and then West piggybacked on the opportunity to create a mania and use it as an excuse to shut down the borders at the rest of the world. So originally, what was happening year 2020, 2021, China was tackling their own issues there. And this has happened with swine flu, but this uh, situation that happened year 2020 and 2021 lockdown it didn't happen with the swine flu. You see, this time they took on to this opportunity uh, and they wanted to shut down the entire situation. They saw this as an opportunity and uh, China actually wasn't very happy uh, about this when it came to the West. And that's why they... Uh, kind of awakened and they are siding with Russia because they can see how the media is twisting and lying everything and how this Kwabala is using it 
to make up their own agenda, WEF, and make their own uh, outcome. So they let them kind of like, it, it is very, very interesting. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. So some of these camps now, there were camps that an Estonian businessman saw. He saw these camps and he said that these were built, uh, in his humble opinion, for very weird people. And I put the two two together and I told him these are soulless humans. And he's like, yeah, could be. And this was a few years ago. He's like, we have seen these bases in China that are kind of keeping in captive these really fucked up people. And what happened then? These nurses and whistleblowers blowers who were working at hospitals, they saw these soulless humans and they started uh, connecting the situation to the Dr. Fauci health care plan that people went along with. They said that this was uh, testing, testing the substances of the, I cannot tell you, I have to be careful. And they said that these people were going crazy after the testing, but in actuality, these were soulless humans from the get-go. And after the years 2021, these whistleblowers haven't appeared anymore. They're gone. So the problem has been sort of tackled in China because we are seeing the... We are seeing these disgusting uh, animal wet markets where it was heaving with soulless humans. Oh my goodness. Their behavior is not normal. You know, these all these places have been shut down and China is kind of cleaned up. And I know what you mean now. Oh my God, are you serious, Ms. Sepsis? This is really what you're saying? I understand the social credit score situation going on in the illegal surveillance, but I'm going to get to it, so just wait for it, okay? So all these horrific bases, wet markets are disappeared from China, and these weird people that were there before, selling and buying and breeding and doing whatever, um, are, are, have, have been kind of disappeared. They've disappeared and there's no more whistleblowers talking about these hospitals where these zombies are walking around and biting and scratching other human beings, acting really erratic. This was the behavior of uh, these people and, uh, and uh, not, you know, their behavior is wall to wall. It's different. Not all of them scratch bite. They are civil as well, but uh, the expert will know that this is a soulless human being because they've... Uh, harmed other beings. So now Hu Jintao was in charge of 2002 to 2012, where in my humble opinion, it was the dark times. The moment of truth then happened here with Hu Jintao, where he's walked off and Xi Jinping is just sitting there completely ignoring the situation. It looks very cruel. Yes, it does. But you need to remember that what was happening here was they had to get rid of this previous president who was a complete slave to the Chinese oligarchs and the old CCP and completely influenced by USA. So he completely sold his country, basically. And Xi Jinping is very similar to, basically, Putin uh, that got rid of the Western influence out of their country and the influence of the bloodlines such as Rothschild for out of Siberia and, and the banking system in Russia and kicked them out and he solidified himself. He deci decided to stay put and he has the support of the Russian people to stay put and clean house. And this is what's happening here with Xi Jinping and this Hu Jintao moment. You can watch this very fascinating. And Hu Jintao, yeah, so he was corrupted. And like I said, there was the UK, USA, uh, the bloodline influences, uh, the corruption of the Chinese bank, and the exact same situation like in Russia, just to recap, okay? 
and uh, Xi Jinping is kind of representing, and that's why he resonates with Putin, and he understands the enemy, they're facing an enemy that's far bigger and grander than he thought it was, and it's time to join forces with another uh, victim or a targeted uh, uh, country, Russia, you know. So it's very parallel now what's happening with this uh, escalation of the Taiwan war. Uh, uh, with the Hu Jintao time, human trafficking was completely out of control. The organ harvesting situations there, mamma mia. And uh, animal uh, wet markets, disgusting uh, sort of behavior, completely barbaric. And uh, people are, uh, as well arrested, disappearing from their homes. It was not a fabulous time during his rule, okay? So now from the 26th, this is the reminder now what this lecture is about, that this is all about the connection to the March dates. So if you look at the slide now on the 26th of March, when this specific soul got involved, giving a bit of their DNA sample to declare a complete halt and block against evil because they couldn't realize their plans during March. And I doubt it will happen now in their favorite month of May, number five, is that uh, the escalation, uh, the U.S. has lost interest uh, now for Russia war, Ukraine, and their interest, new, new, new interest now is China through Taiwan. Isn't that convenient? Right after their peace plan of uh, there is no winners in the nuclear war that I said that the MSM didn't cover whatsoever. Now, Taiwan is actually Republic of China. You can chase and trace back each uh, Taiwanese citizen's um, origins to back to three generations and realize that actually they all migrated from China, you know? <laughs> most of them so them calling themselves taiwanese only and and just you know it's always the same situation the enemy purchases small countries next door to the enemy exactly what happened with kuwait barking at iraq next door and same situation as ukraine against russia and the uh, shitty little Baltic nations that are completely filled with um, local uh, minions and an Estonian government. They're all Estonian Jews. You just look at their mugshot and you will know that these are sent by the Bilderberg uh, group and the enemy. Uh, same thing for all these uh, presidents that were in Estonia. And uh, the situation is that, uh, that uh, I must say is that uh, the situation that happened in Jerusalem, Israel with Jesus had nothing to do with Jew pe uh, Jewish people. It had to do with the acupunctural point of that time. Remember? Uh, you, if you want to know more information about this, check the basis 2023, where I'm talking about the magnetic polar shift and the fluctuation of the acupunctural point all the way to Wiltshire. It was Jerusalem. It was uh, Vatican. It was uh, and 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 and, and the, the main acupunctural points. It is as well uh, Mecca, and uh, and then uh, Wiltshire. Uh, this Avery uh, Stonehenge area. So it had nothing to do with Jewish people. Jewish people were not the selected chosen people. It was just the location of Israel, uh, Jerusalem. And uh, after when these acupunctural points get deactivated energetically, the ley lines, then they sacrifice the entire place. You know, the people. And the next uh, place, in my humble opinion, uh, the current uh, situation will be the British people. UK will be sacrificed as the next acupunctural point because they've uh, they sacrificed all the previous uh, places. You know, all uh, uh, Yemen was on the Mecca alignment, so they sacrificed Yemen because it was in line with uh, Mecca. 
and uh, as well, obviously, World War II, Vatican, uh, you know, uh, the entire Europe, uh, Italian people, but now I think it will be UK and the other countries in the straight line of this acupunctural point. It's just a hypothesis that I have because it, it's happened over and over again. Once the ley line acupunctural location deactivates energetically, they're going to sacrifice that location. And that's why the 15 minute city is happening in UK. And, uh, and uh, it's the same surveillance system like in China. So there's no point to uh, criticize China if our own, uh, this uh, yard here, is uh, worse than China. 15-minute cities are already being tested in Oxford uh, uh, area. And... Uh, the CCTV surveillance and the uh, social credit score that nobody can do anything unless they uh, behave financially accordingly. So let's look uh, further away, uh, further on. Before looking at the surveillance reasons, what is a typical human being like? Okay, I've already said this. Uh, the Chinese political surveillance system keeps growing. And we war now. This is it. This is it. Wow. So the reasons for the surveillance in China, in my humble opinion, is because there is a war between the old CCP party and the new CCP party and the old and new oligarchs that were ruling China. And now it's time to clean house. Can you believe this, that there is 96 million members of the CCP currently and with the old who... Uh, previous uh, president Hu Zhijian, uh, there was 80 million CCP <laughs> members, official members. And these members have family members. So the reason for such level degree of surveillance in China is obviously connected to the war going on between the old and new CCP parties and keeping an eye on them because obviously there is a war going on and they are trying to wiggle out from the trouble that they're in and that they caused with the previous admin. So uh, they say Xi Jinping is a killer. No, there is, he is, uh, I think he would be a really stubborn guy. He's a number two, Gemini man number two. The number two people are very specific. I know quite a few. Uh, that's just a side note, but the social credit score connected could be connected to the soulless humans. And I'm going to show now, uh, this is, you know, in Britain, we have a social credit score. When you catch an Uber and it's below, uh, norm, then the driver has a choice not to pick you up and you're kind of screwed. So there is many very uh, ways that in UK that this has been going on as well for a very long time. So you're publicly kind of humiliated uh, through these apps and, and, and uh, these uh, purchase sites that, that you, need, uh, you need to engage with, service uh, apps. Now, uh, like I said, the war is connected uh, most potentially. Well, it is. This, is. this is not potentially. This is it. Connected to the complete war going on in China between the old and new CCP. And yeah, it looks doesn't look right. And uh, the West has adapted this uh, this kind of uh, digital system. I saw it firsthand when I went to Malta at the airport. When I walked to the other uh, side of the screen, I saw the officer looking at each of us, and we each of us had a temperature measure over our heads, hovering, and that was a creepy sight. So it's already in Europe. It's already in the local airports. There's no point to worry about uh, China. This is all already here since 2020, 2021. Okay, I've seen it myself. I couldn't pull out my phone to take a photo. I would have maybe been targeted by a soulless human being working at the airport. The airports are heaving with soulless humans, these slimming world uh, Humpty Dumpties that are radiating the hell out of you and your family members. So it's time to get rid of them, please. Now, 
Uh, this is uh, the one of the camps that they keep hollering about. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised that this is captivating soulless human beings. And it's the Uyghur Muslims uh, sort of FEMA camp. It's not a FEMA camp because China says that all the people that are there are self-willingly. It's a re educational center they call it they call it a re-educational center and when i looked at the mug shots of the locals that were in this base yes it looks like a prison and when i looked at their mug shots their mug shots half of them if not all looked exactly like the british uk uh, public government website called the local sex offenders list dot co dot uk and half of their mugshots look like people from there. So maybe they do need re-educating because the soul is in the eyes. And when I looked at these mugshots a little bit closer, in my humble opinion, these looked uh, very strange people. They looked like uh, you wouldn't want to le leave your kids around them or your little pet cat because you're not going to walk to a, a living being here is a little photo of this camp and this is all connected uh, it really raised my eyebrows like i said this estonian businessman told me that they are they have seen these camps captivating these uh, soulless humans and because i went to him to explain that i think there's soulless humans here and he's like aha you know what come to think of it i've seen them in china when i've been on my business trips and uh and these are photos of these lovely women there there are officers and this is the Uyghur Uyghur Muslims uh camp they're saying that the China CCP new CCP is targeting these poor Chinese Muslim people and anyone who grows a beard or uh you know does something uh that doesn't drink ridiculous excuses that they're being sent there to shave their beer off and teach them how to have a shot of tequila. This is the MSM. Total lies. I mean, can you believe it? They didn't broadcast this peace plan that China and Russia did on the 27th of March. There is no winners in a nuclear war. You cannot find this on online. This is, this was, but the way I found it was, was through a Hindu alternative media outlet. And I've been looking for it if maybe I didn't search well enough, but they're not talking about it. So China is definitely uh, making some pretty uh, interesting changes uh, lately. And uh, when you look at all kinds of stuff, you know, they even uh, I have a couple of Chinese business partners. And even when I mentioned the 15 minute cities, they were like, wow, th is that really what's going on in the UK? <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, uh, you know, even for them, that's being accused of this uh, total uh, surveillance system. For them, this was utopia. And they said, wow, no, no, no. This is, this is uh, what MSM is. Uh, they're targeting, I think, and demonizing China because of its alliance with Russia. Let's look at the slide. So this was no winners in a nuclear war, 27th of March, 2023. And uh, I think that now Russia, Putin has opened up his UFO extraterrestrial folders since the 2009 Kremlin tetrahedron one mile long UFO uh, covered by New York Post, Telegram, Guardian and, and all taken down, all these articles taken down. There was a one mile long UFO over Kremlin, and this is the same UFO that I talk about in the Basis 2023 lecture. And this is where now Putin has, let's look at the slides. I think he has uh, said that let's exchange notes. This is the message from these beings that are trying to warn us, humanity. They're trying to warn us what a future we're heading in and who's the real enemy. And I think China has now opened up their extraterrestrial UFO X-Files and they are swapping notes and uh, trying to support each other because uh, U.S. has completely fucked over China. And uh, this Hunter Biden... Uh, 
and the Obama administration and the old CCP in China. And they want a clean house of the new China under the Xi Jinping rule. And this is all connected to the Obama Hillary Clinton admin. And uh, the MSM is saying the 69 year old Xi shows no sign of loosening his grip or designating a successor. State media regularly calls him the people's leader, a near identical title to the great leader of Mao. So there is five leaders before Xi Jinping and all of them were around 13 years. One of them, uh, I, have a, I have the list of it, uh, the longest was 20 years and Mao was around, I think as well, if I'm not mistaking 20 year term. Okay. So, uh, who are the new CCP members? There are seven uh, frontline members, uh, the Holy Seven that I discuss in Walking Case, the meaning of the seven plus seven, Holy 14 adds up to five. And uh, because it represents the human spirit, number seven. And these are new members, okay? UFO, or at least with a new mindset, I don't know. I, ha I have checked half of them, and at least the half of them are new. Now, the UFO information from Russia, like I just said, is, uh, is the key thing here. And this is why they came up with this. There is no winners in a nuclear war peace plan. And then Japan went to see Zelensky right after during these key dates in March. Uh, obviously conduct few rituals in Ukraine. And uh, Japan is definitely in the alliance with the dark side uh, due to the uh, very ancient monarchy of Japan. And uh, so they went to see Zelensky and they, uh, Japan was trying to uh, offer their peace proposal plan to uh, Zelensky and Zelensky was sitting like a little child like this, like near a Christmas tree. He was like this. It's so ridiculous, these people's behavior. When you really see them there, they are completely uh, crazy. And he's a pathetic 34 degree. He will never be a 35 degree meet, meeting a walk in that I talk about the different degrees of Masons. He's a pathetic 34 degree Mason Zelensky, and he will never have the privilege to meet the walk-in during a Bohemian Grove-like ceremony. Only 35, well, only 36 degrees are allowed to meet and 35 degree members are allowed to participate in a gathering party, but the the instructions are given to the 36 degree people and who are they? I suspect that the 33 degrees definitely is Henry Kissinger. It is definitely Klaus Schwab. It is, uh, Bill Gates has earned his title to be 36 degrees. So he's not only, he's not a front face of the billionaire they're masquerading, but he's already high up and he has maybe uh, the privilege to meet one of these Dracula uh, walk-ins representing the Archons uh, who are 800 years old or maximum 1,500 years old and to meet them face to face and get direct instructions what to do next to go distribute it to the rest of the human uh, servants, i.e. the slaves that run this uh, planetary system. And who else could it be? George W. Senior Bush maybe earned this title. Uh, Elon Musk is not a 36 degree. He will be a 35 degree. Maybe he will have the privilege to be at the ceremony. But the ceremonies are now not happening because of the super soldiers, the real super soldiers targeting the walk-ins and gunning them down. So the ceremonies are only with the black Pope and the a human being that's about to be sacrificed and these three soul particles integrated into the human being to live on to the next 800 years at least as a walk-in because when the body deteriorates, they get rid of the vessel and they bring in a new, so there's only the Pope and this, uh, 
sacrifice and then the soul goes into the new body and they get rid of the old body that's deteriorating because biochemistry can only go so far you see like the wisdom keepers in china easily could live up to 500 years old but these were wisdom keepers from tibetan time all of this in previous lectures please oh all these pathetic hararis these are all 35 degrees these are pretty high. It's a very pri privilege. It's 33, 34, 35, 36. Every time when I want to name these human beings in the public domain that could be 36 degrees, I get uh, interference. This is very strange. And then later on, I'm like, how could I? You know, this is really weird. Uh, we are at the end now. Thank God. End times warning message that are coming from Russian shamans pagans witches and the extraterrestrial files because uh, russians are very big in the spiritism movement spiritism and uh, there are shamans pagans uh, and cosmic uh, experts and calculations are are serious people you know they're well ahead of time uh they've had this data for a long time and they actually share it with their people valeri ovado a good friend of mine has a lot of cosmic calculations so they're sharing their notes with china and this is connected like i said to the 2009 one mile long ufo tetrahedron that last time was most likely when gilgamesh existed and this is what we talk about with valeri ovado in the basis project 2015 lectures and uh, the cosmic calculations and more so quantum physics and what is coming for a negative and positive side what i propose and, and i hypothesize is <sighs> there is there is different probabilities what will happen i think that uh that all souls are going to go through this uh, end of world apocalypse uh, situation because this is a collective karma and none of us are going to kind of get out of it unless this block that happened during the 26th of March will now carry on and we're going to bring in even further results and I'm so happy that this block is happening because they wanted so many things to happen during March, the elite, and they couldn't make it happen and we need to now actually continue during the uh, month of Taurus because the month of uh, five is coming up the Taurus the Mintaura sacrifice where a lot of events happen their favorite month and it will go on and we have to work very hard and I think that uh, they we win they lose if we we get lucky uh, we lose, we collapse all together, and they wait for us on the other side, which will be even more painful. They're very excited, so they're waiting for souls like me, who are doing hands-on work. And this uh, souls are all, this is kind of like the last incarnation. They're putting souls into whatever the hell they want. Everyone's confused about their gender. That's where the confusion comes from. Uh, they're integrating souls into maybe I'm going to incarnate as a little street ra uh, rat in the Manchester streets you know what a complete then I'm completely dismantled I don't have the possibility to communicate or do anything because that's what they're doing with soul soul is a soul maybe they're going to put me in an animal body and be, I'm going to be ripped apart by a soulless human waiting for me they're like ha, 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 ha. this is the last incarnation now I'm telling you, there is a high potential that this is the last incarnation now. If you are a human being, be very concerned about what you're going to be during your next incarnation. Because they are capturing souls into the black box. The, we're living in this magic-based black box, mecca, mecca situation, and that's where the rituals were, are happening the, the, this five times a day. Very good. Very good that I remember this. So uh, all these human servants, sleepers, are engaging with this magic-based world. And we are in real deep trouble because there is a Muslim in every continent, every country, and every step of the, every single minute of the day, there will be a archonic 
Islamic magic based prayer. This is a new religion, Islam. I'm not racist. I'm speaking facts here. We have even Jay-Z rapping about, I pray five times a day, so many felonies. He raps about this. So we are dealing with this magic-based world that's feeding Archonic. And in each country where it hits the right time, because they, they do the prayers five times, you can see this in uh, where I explain it in my Silbury Hill ritual video in Odyssey. And uh, so this magic that was going on nonstop, 24 hours, uh, seven days a week, five times a day. And this swastika is a time clock, a heavy metal that shamans see when they reach the elevated highest depths of awakening and consciousness. They see a round circle made out of wood and copper metal that I explain in the basis 2023. So the swastika reaches 999999 that I present in the previous lecture. You need to see it. I'm a little bit mumbling there, but just rewatch it a few times and you'll get the drift. The energy mood I'm in today is I'm, you know, I'm trying to do this properly. And this uh, prayer, magic based prayer hits every second, every minute, and it goes backwards and it goes forwards. So they are turning this big wheel made out of wood and metal. And this is what the sh shaman and pagan will see when they reach the highest depths of awakening. And they will see this. This is what I saw when I had my real awakening. I saw this time thing and I had to pull it with everything that I had. And that was 2009 when I saw it. I saw that. And funny enough, I have a, this tattoo on the path of awakening. This is what someone in a complete state of uh, mania who gets... Uh, you know, Carrie Cassidy's and these people call it Kundalini awakening. I doubt she had a Kundalini awakening, but, but that was one of my awakenings. I think Carrie Cassidy had actually a cheese ham sandwich stuck, gluten based sandwich stuck in her gut that was trying to escape and it caused gases, etc. I'm trying to be funny here. That's a very bad joke. And this caused the sensation of having a, a Kundalini awakening because <laughs> uh, it was, a, it was a block in her tummy digestive system. So I doubt she had this kind of awakening because that's what you see. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> uh, I, I posted this video, this joke on my channel that got taken down. I thought it was funny as hell. I got a sense of humor. And uh, that was, sweetie, that was not a Kundalini awakening you had uh, because your information is not seeing the real enemy. You keep talking about uh, mumbo jumbo and you keep wasting everybody's time. So you need to now really reconsider. And I don't feel guilty for saying that. That's the problem with people like Billy Carson and all these people. They keep wasting our times. We need to focus on this information. We're at the end times and... Uh, it's a human karma based uh, situation <laughs> and uh, we need a clean house. We need to really deal with this. So if you're listening there and you resonate with this, so I wanted to give you now these uh, mantra that came to me when a man who uh, in London claimed to be 600 years old, he came to me and he uh, said, I'm 600 years old. I want to conduct the Knights Templar Queen's ritual on you. He sniffed me three times on each side. And then this mantra came to me and he got very scared that moment. And he told me, I don't understand you. What are you? And this was a fat git. You could see that he was uh, someone important because uh, he could have. He kind of reminded me of Winston Churchill. Uh, it, it really, you know. And him proposing that it falls in line with Win Keach, one of the most credible talkers. Definitely check Win Keach out. Uh, I give references where they are due. He said this happened to him. He went to one of his business partners and this business partner said, 
I don't understand you. What are you? And this, I said, so Wayne Keach, can you understand that this has happened with me? And he's like, yes, you meet these kind of, you, you know, you meet them in high upper echelon. These are completely ritualistically mind controlled uh, human servants who have gone, gone Cocoa Pops. And the mantra is Amanashaku. And he pulled back and he said, I don't understand you. What are you? And then he walked away. So it's Amanashaku. It's a quantum sound. It has no literal meaning, but it's a quantum sound of going to war. So if you want to take part and do something about this mess that we're having on planet Earth, do this mantra over and over again. And this is the mantras that I did on the 22nd, on the 26th of March, and on the 31st of March with my techniques and approaches. So this is something, I'm not shoving it down your throat. If you resonate with this mantra, do it. Amanashaku. And it's on the first page of my book as well, inside a circle. Amanashaku. Amanashaku. Cool. Amanasha ku. And do it that it adds up to nine, whether it's 108 times, one plus eight, or 1,008 times, as long as it adds up to the number nine. And the other thing that I promised to tell you was the Max Spears message. I went to two mediums and I said that I keep seeing the number 65 everywhere. 65 this, 65 that, 56 this, 56, now it's turned into a 56. So I, because as soon as when I interpreted the meaning of 65, I then it became 56 and it adds up to the number 11. And it's a message from the other side. And this medium said that there is a young man that has gone to the other side and he refused, he somehow managed to not incarnate back into a physical body. Remember I said that these, this is the last incarnation in the last decade. They're going to integrate us in big, big soups and messes and keep us active, uh, captive, maybe in the black box even. So Max Spears refused to incarnate into a body and he said through the medium that I cannot disclose she wants to remain private he had his hand on his forehead and I said, why didn't you incarnate back? And he said, because they will wipe out his memory. Like I said, maybe they're going to put me in a, a little rat body and, and somewhere in the streets of Manchester or, or whatever. And Max said he, he has to do the work during these critical times in the astral plane. And this 65 is connected to someone communicating to me from the other side. It could be as well other family members that I feel that didn't incarnate to physical bodies and they're doing now more important work than they did while they were alive. He said that I'm doing far more important work in the state that I'm in, that I was doing while I was alive. I was too limited, too manipulated, and now I can really contribute and give information really that only the spiritual realm is allowed to have the secrets and give it on to the people that are worthy so they can mix their DNA and put this on the declaration against evil because you do you do both you do alchemy and biochemistry rituals you need to a little bit somehow integrate with your physical DNA and I suspect that on the 26th of March, someone, uh, one of these brave souls, uh, then as well gave a little bit of their blood instead of sacrificing someone else. And uh, this is a method that I use myself, but I hope that it was, uh, it was, it was all, uh, quite a few of us doing this kind of work. Please do this work. We don't have a lot of time. I'm glad that I had this chance to to cover these PowerPoints, uh, this is important because last PowerPoint, the presentation, the mood was that all free will is going to be stripped away from, from 2025 on. And I was even myself surprised what happened this March. People felt it. They are still feeling the aftermath, very stress, complete nerve wrecks, lack of sleep, 
getting ill physically, these energies from March have had a serious implication on all of us, you know, and it's a good thing because a caviar, a block has been put against evil. And this is it. Let's hope that this carries on. I found I had to, I wanted to bring this uh, message forward. And this is important because the last one was basically, that's it. We're all fucked. And I'm glad I did it. And I'm glad I did a second take because in the first take, I made a lot of errors. And, uh, and, uh, this is it. Let me just now collect my thoughts. Three seconds. Please go look at the other, uh, lectures and, and let's combine this together with this. Uh, what I want to just add to, well, I'm, I'm going to close it here because the other, other uh, presentation is just five minutes and that is about protein. Thank you everyone so much. Honestly, thank you. Uh, let's get out of our limited, uh, sort of belief systems and, and our petty little, uh, fanatical egos. And, uh, let's try to give each other a chance and let's contribute to this, uh, potential disaster approaching us. Sitting back and doing nothing is one of the worst things you can do. Like Martin Luther King said, the scars and pain looking away from a suffering human being, child and animal animal will be far more burden and painful to bear. So don't not, do not look away, engage, engage in any form you can in any form, physical, non-physical prayer, fund someone, give them money so they can do their work, uh, pray for them, uh, pray for this, uh, planet earth, do something. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Miss Sepsis. Thank you.